This is LEDs and resistors in 90 seconds. So, what are LEDs? Well, you know what they are. They're in the lights in your home, tiles on the dance floor, traffic lights, TVs, phones, and the very optional turn signals on your car. However, the ones I'm talking about today are the ones commonly found in robotics, the red, green, yellow, blue, and white LEDs. There are other colors, but they're just, they're just the most common ones. However, you need to be very careful when wiring these guys. If you supply too much current to the LED, it'll burn it out and break. Think of it like trying to pump a huge amount of water through a tiny valve. The valve's gonna break. So to avoid this, resistors are necessary. Resistors decrease the amount of current traveling through the LEDs. Think of a resistor like a sturdy, thin metal pipe that attaches to the valve to allow the water to flow safely through it. Now, depending on the size of the valve, you will need bigger or smaller pipes or larger or stronger resistors. The strength of a resistor is measured in ohms. Each LED has their own specified resistance that they need. Hence why there are different resistors on the top. Here are the optimal resistor values at five volts to keep each LED at a bright, but not blinding level. And that's it. That's LEDs and resistors in 90 seconds.